the worst case scenario of Bitcoin is still a better form of gold. So uh, this narrative now has finally been accepted by the mainstream financial world as an inflation hedge, as a storage of wealth, Bitcoin is super, simply superior. But now that's we, we are already way beyond that. That to me is just crypto finance 1.0. Now you have crypto finance 2.0 with Ethereum and a whole booming uh, DeFi ecosystem. There are you know, already uh, tens and of billions of dollars locked in the whole DeFi ecosystem managed by smart contracts instead of centralized institutions. So now you have things coming out left and the right, new business models, new inventions in this crypto finance world. So I think the fundamentals are already here. It's just, it will take time for people to understand them. It will take time for the whole market to digest them. But I would say, you know, the fundamental of crypto, the fundamental of Bitcoin, Ethereum and alike is already here with us today. Okay, because a lot of us are asking what those fundamentals are and we don't quite understand the fundamentals that's really driving Bitcoin. But when we talk about Bitcoin at these levels, I keep hearing the word bubble. It keeps popping up in my head. What do you say to that? Uh, I, I think I think it's uh, it's it, it's always like this when people you know uh, come into a new paradigm shift, right? Uh, there are of course people start with doubts, with skepticism. It's very natural because they will have to take time to understand what's new there. Is it sustainable? And in the early stage, that kind of understanding, that kind of uh, uh, Skepticism always comes with a lot of price volatility. However, I don't think you can call Bitcoin a bubble anymore because like I mentioned earlier, you have all these institutions, all these billionaires, multi multi billion dollar listed companies, and all these, you know, all these newcomers into crypto. They are buying Bitcoins, they are buying crypto, and there are only 21 million Bitcoins out there. So even with simple supply and demand, we have you have rising demand, more and more people coming into the space, and you have a fixed or even in some way shrinking supply. So of course you're gonna see price trend up over long term. Mm -hmm. So I think we've passed this stage to really call Bitcoin a bubble anymore. There will be price volatility. There will be short term uh, price corrections, and sometimes these price corrections can be violent. But okay. I think we've passed the stage of calling Bitcoin a bubble anymore. Okay.